Hello and welcome to our math class. This is the second part on the topic multiplication by base method. Okay, in the first part, we have learned to multiply a number having a base 100, 200, 300 like that type of number and within a few seconds. Okay, so in this uh, video, we are taking the a base other than the multiple of 100. Okay, so let us start with a smaller number. Okay, I will take 53 and 50. 9 okay so here both the number is closer to 50 that means our base is 50 okay so now we are multiplying this number by base method okay and our base is 50 okay so that means first step we here we can see that this number is 3 more than 50 this is plus 3 and this is 9 more than 50 this is plus 9 okay so that means we have to add 53 plus 9 or 59 plus 3 in both the case we get 59 plus 3 is 62 okay so here we are taking base 50 base 50 means this is half of 100 okay that is 50 by 100 we will get 1 by 2 that means base 50 is half of 100 that means we are going to multiply this number by half or simply we make this number half that is 31 okay so here it is 31 and we will put two zeros. So that means now multiplying these two numbers. 3 nines are 27. So we will add 27 here. So our product is 7, 2, 1, 3. Okay. So this is by taking the base 50. Okay. That means half of 100. Okay. Now let's do another number. So here I will take one number as. Okay. I will take 60. Uh, 61 and another number as 55 okay here also we have to take base 50 so our base is 50 which is half of 100 okay so that means our ratio is half now this is 11 more than 50 and this is 5 more than 50 so 61 plus 5 is 66 half of 66 is 33 so we will write here 33 and we will put two zeros now 11 into 5 is 55 so multiplying this we get 5 5 3 3 okay now let us take another number okay i'll take uh 256 and 252 okay now this both the number is closer to 250 that means here our base is 250 okay so first this number is 6 more than 250 that is plus 6 and this is 2 more than 250 that is plus 2 okay now we are going to add 2 to this 256 okay 256 plus 2 is 256 plus 2 is 258 okay so this is 256 plus 2 now what we have to find is what part of 250 is 100 okay that means we will find the ratio of 250 and 100 so 250 by 100 that means we can easily say that 250, 200 is a double of 100 and 50 is half of 100. That is, this is 2 and half, okay. 250 is 2 and half time 100, okay. So, like, okay, why, when we convert this into improper fraction, we will get 5 by 2. That means, we are going to multiply this number by 5 by 2, okay. So, that means, now multiplying this, we get 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 nines are 18, now 5 into 9 is Okay, 5 into 9 is 5 nines are 45, 5 2 is are 10 plus 4, 14, 5 1 are 5, 6. Okay, and we will put 2 zeros here. Now, 6 into 2 is 12. So, adding 12, we get 2, 1, 5, 4, 6. So, this is our product. Okay, so let us take few more examples. Okay, next. Okay, next I will take. Okay, I will take the number. Uh, 300 okay 362 and 300 okay 351 okay now here this number is 12 more than 350 this is plus 12 and this is 1 more than 350 this is plus 1 okay now multiplying so that means first we are going to add 1 to this number 362 plus 1 is 363 okay now we have to multiply this number by here this both the number is nearer to 350 means our base is 350 and 350 is 
3 and half times 100. Okay, that means we are going to multiply this number by 3 and half. Okay, this in improper fraction is 2, 3, 6, 7. We multiply this number by 7 by 2. Now multiply this, we get, okay, 2, 1, the 2, okay, 2, 1 here, 2, 8, the 16, 2, 1, the 2, putting 0, 2, 5, the 10. Okay, now multiply this by 7, 7, 5, the 35, 7, 1, the 7, 8, 9, 10. 7, 8, the 56, 57, and 7, 1, the 7, plus 5 is 12, okay. When we multiply this, we already put it 1, 0 here. That means here, we are going to put one more 0, okay. So, that means now, 1 into 12 is 12. So, adding this, we will get our required product. 2, 6, 0, 7, 2, 1 is our required product, okay. So, let's, uh, okay, what we have done here is, this is 363. Uh, if we divide this number by 2, we will get decimal here. So, that means we can put two zeros here, this two. When we put two zeros here, we can uh, put here also the same two, digit, two zeros. Okay. Now, multiply this number by 2, we will get this is 18150 and 7 into this number is this. Okay. And adding 12. Okay. So, do, uh, let us do one more number. Okay, I will write here 458 and this number 444, okay. So, here both the number is nearer to 450. So, our base is 450, okay. Now, this is 8 more than 450 and this is 6 less than 450, okay. This is minus 6. Now, okay, let us 458 minus 6 will get 452, okay. Now, we have to multiply this number by, first let us see this 450 is 4 and half times 100, okay. That means, this is 2 for the 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 by 2. So, we will multiply this number by 9 by 2. Now, multiplying we get 2 to the 4, 2 to the 4, 2 6 the 12 and 9 into 226. So, 9 6 the 54, 9 to the 18, 5 left, okay. 9 to the 18 plus 5 is 23, 3. Now, 2 left, 9 to the 18, 19, 20, okay. So, now we are going to put 2 zeros here and 8, 6, the 48 and sign is plus minus minus. This is minus 48. Now, we are going to subtract this number. So, this is 2, here 9, 9 minus 4 is 5. This is 3, so 3, 3, 0, 2, okay. So, this is the product of 458 and 4004, sorry, 444, okay. Let us do few more examples, okay. So, this time I am taking 558 into 557, okay. So, here we see both the number is closer to 550. That means 550 is our base, okay. Now, this is 8 more than 550 and this is 7 more than 550, okay. So, now first 558 plus 7 is 565 okay so now we are going to multiply this number by 550 is five and half times 100 okay so now convert this into improper fraction we get 2 5 the 10 plus 1 is 11 by 2 so we are multiplying this number by 11 by 2 okay so now this is odd number and when we divide any odd number by 2 we will get a decimal number to eliminate the decimal number, let us put two zeros here, okay. Instead of putting here, let us put the two zeros here. Now, this become an even number and when we divide this number by two, now we don't, we won't get decimal number, okay. So, let us divide two to the four, one here, two eight the sixteen, again two to the four, one here, two five the ten, zero. Now, multiply this number by eleven, multiply by eleven is so simple, okay. So, this is zero. 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 8 is 10, 0, 1 left, so 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 1 is 11, and 2, 1 left, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, this number into 11 is 310750, okay. Now, let us multiply this number. Here, no need to put two zeros because that zero, we already put it here, okay. Now, multiply this, 8, 7, the 56. So, 56 here. Now, adding this, we will get 6, 
zero eight zero one three. So this is the product of five hundred fifty eight and five hundred fifty seven. Okay. So let us solve one more question. Okay. Okay. This time I'll take four hundred fifty nine and four hundred. Okay. I'll take four hundred forty seven. Okay. So that means both the number is closer to four fifty. 450. Okay, so that means 450 is our base. So this is nine more than 450, and this is three less than 450. So this is minus three. Okay, now 459 minus three is 456. Okay, so now we are going to multiply this number by 450 is four and half times hundred. That means two for the eight plus one is nine by two. So we'll multiply this number by nine by two. Okay. So this is an even number. We can easily cancel by two. So this is two to the four, two to the four, one to eight the sixteen. So two hundred twenty-eight into nine, nine eight the seventy-two, nine to the eighteen plus seven is twenty-five. Five here, so two left. Nine to the eighteen plus two is twenty. Okay. So now we are going to put two zeros here. Okay. So now multiply these two numbers nine three that twenty seven and it it is plus minus minus. We are going to subtract twenty seven. Okay. So this is three here nine minus two is seven. This is one and five zero two. Okay. So this is the product of four fifty nine and four hundred fifty seven. Okay. So first, uh, if you do this method, it will take little time, but you practice it regularly, you can do it in just less than. Five seconds. Okay, so this was for today. In our next class, we'll continue with the multiplication by base method. Okay, so till then, keep practicing and thank you very much.